let's go on to our Joan Burge Innovation Award. Uh, I came up with this idea. This will be our fourth award, I believe. But I was just thinking how as assistants, you're always coming up with great ideas. You know, you do, and whether it's streamlining processes, some of you are over the top with some of your ideas in a great way. You create change, you make your organizations better, and yet I always feel like assistants get little public recognition for that. And so that's why I created the Joan Burge Innovation Award. The other side of it, though, is we learn from each other, right? So the other part of this is that when you hear um, what our winner has done or what they've seen. To me, it's also a way that we share best practices with others. And maybe you're inspired by some of the things, you know, that were done. So we had several good submissions, great submissions. So then that's kind of hard. And I hope more of you will submit next year. Um, but I'm going to announce our winner. We're going to bring that person up. Then I will tell you what they did. Okay, so uh, I don't want to take away from the grand unveiling and the Joan Burge Innovation Award goes to Andrea Jones Pasco, EA Canador College. So Andrea is the EA to the Vice President of Strategic Infrastructure, Indigenous and Learner Services at Candor College in North Bay, Ontario. She is also a proud board member of the Lindsay Wells Center for Children. So we're going to show the video that she submitted because it tells her story. And, uh, and then we'll get a few couple words from you. How's that? Okay. What started as a comment turned into a big idea. Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm the executive assistant to the vice president of Canador College in North Bay, Ontario. As an EA, a mother, and a member of my community, I wear many hats. One of the positions I have is a board member with the Lindsay Wells Center for Children. At a board meeting this past winter, a comment was made. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a space big enough to grow in? That comment sat with me and I knew we needed to find the perfect space to do something truly different. That's where the idea of an intergenerational program comes in, where seniors and children can engage in meaningful ways, whether it's storytelling, making crafts, playing games, or gardening together. It's about bridging generations and making connections between children, seniors, and young adults. But it doesn't stop there. With the partnership between the college and the daycare, we are going to create living labs where our college students can gain real life experience working in childcare. And this is going to benefit them, the children, and our community. This idea sparked with my passion for helping others and making connections. I couldn't wait to share this idea with my boss, the VP of Canador College. And when I did, his excitement matched mine. Let's make it happen, is what he said, and our team has done just that. We're almost at the finish line, and soon we will be opening the doors to what I truly believe will be a center of excellence for childcare and experiential learning. Our hope for this new site will bring 179 licensed childcare spaces to the district to hopefully maintain our, our wait lists. I know it will create a great opportunity to help um, but we're also hoping to create new opportunities with the college um, of ECEs but with Canada College as well. This has been a fun and rewarding journey and I can't wait to see the impact this is going to make on our community, on our seniors, children and our college students. This is going to be a real game changer and a model that others can use.
Last year, Joan Birch's innovative award winner, Susan Schultz said, it takes one person to have the idea and an entire team to execute it. And that's just what we have done. I am so proud to be a part of a team that is innovative and forward thinking. At Canador College, we say great things happen here. And I know this new daycare model is going to be just that. It's going to be great. We just love that idea, and I'm sure you're extremely proud of yourself. Do you want to just say a couple words to everyone? Sure. <laughs> I'm not usually speechless, but um, <laughs> it's uh, just watching the video brought tears to my eyes again because uh, it's so close to home for me. My, my son um, went to that daycare, and we are currently in such a small space, and there's no room to grow. And um, when I found out that um, my employer was purchasing a surplus um, school, elementary school that just closed, um, I asked him what his plans were and he said, I don't know, I've got a few, what are your thoughts? And that in itself where a VP is asking me what my thoughts are shows that I'm more, I'm more to him than I think I thought, the imposter syndrome, right? Um, that he values what my thoughts are and I said, um, daycare? And he said, yeah, let's go for it. I'll pitch it to the team, and I'm sure they'll be in support of that. So um, we're almost ready to open. Spring 2025 is our date. And um, I'm just so happy that he took what, um, what I said, and we called in the entire team, and um, we're well underway to make it happen. And um, I think it just goes a long way to show that just our EAs were not just EAs. We're so much more than that um, to supportive employers like the one I have. So... Um, yeah, I'm, thank you very much. I'm very honored. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, we, we, I'm going to be quick because I know Kayla can't wait to get up here. Um, I was also impressed with another submission, though, that really spoke to me on several levels, and I came up with this award. <laughs> uh, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So... I would uh, like Darisha, Darisha Walters to join me on stage. Darisha, I hope she's here. There she is, there's my lady. So she is senior EA at Development Bank St. Kitts. She's presented us with a 25 page report on gaps she saw and her solutions which many have been implemented. And so I kept thinking about, there was a message through each of these areas that you touched with leaders, your employees, community clients, right, the clients. There were so many. And so what I realized, at the center of it all, she has a big heart for her leaders, organization, her customers, and her coworkers. So I came up with, for you, the, the Heart Award in recognition of your big heart for customers and coworkers. 